To get started, we'll begin with an initialized patch, a clean slate for both the System 8 and the Juno X. And uh, right out of the gates, the Juno X has a lot more volume to it, but that's only because of some programming differences between the initialized patches and um, the interfaces of the synthesizers. Um, while they're both emulating the original Juno 106, the Juno X stays a little more true to form in the sense that the oscillator faders here act as uh, on-off switches. Whereas uh, with the System 8, the oscillator dials here give you the range to turn the oscillator up or down. Um, an initialized patch starts you somewhere at about 50%, but we can turn that all the way up to give us a sound a lot closer to the Juno X's or the original 106's in volume. And uh, now you'll notice that the System 8 has uh, much more presence. It's got a, a better low end than the Juno X. And that's because the Juno X uh, starts you with just a little bit of a high pass filter with an initialized patch in the 106 model. And that should bring us uh, as close as we can get to the same sound. One more thing we can do with the System 8, um, they give you something of an expanded capability with control over both filter and amplifier envelopes, whereas the Juno X, again a little more true to the original, is tied to a single envelope for both the filter and the amplifier. Uh, to make this comparison as true as possible, I'm just going to go into the menu and hit patch edit here and we will turn it to the single envelope for both filter and amplifier. Um, the only other thing I can do on the Juno X is quickly go into the tone edit menu and get rid of our aftertouch because that might take a little into consideration when we're comparing these two sounds and I'm flying around on the keyboard. So now we're ready to go. Uh, let's check out the filter. resonance, about uh, 50%. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's try some pulse width modulation. Uh, it's something of a signature sound on the Juno series, and it's very easy just to dial in. So we're gonna bring it to about 50%. On the System 8, I've just got to select LFO as the source and then turn the color knob up to about 50%. It's set by default on the Juno X. the Juno sound is concerned. The most signature aspect is certainly the Juno chorus. And with the Juno X, I've just got to press the button here and you'll hear that uh, signature hiss, the uh, noise, and we can just dial that right out or crank it up if we see fit. But for the purposes of this demo, we'll just turn that right down with the System 8, the Juno Chorus is somewhat um, hidden. It's not an effect that you can use across the board on the Jupiter 8 model or the System 8. It is specific to the uh, 106 plugout, and it's actually hidden in the effects section under the metalizer uh, tone. So let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Let's add in some sub. Crank it up here, crank it up here. Now, uh, the System 8 is a hugely loud synthesizer, and sometimes um, it tends to peak out my whole system. So we're just gonna be mindful of the gain here. I might have to uh, be a little considerate with the volume knob, but um, just expect some big power from the System 8. It is uh, easily the loudest synth in my studio.
the pulse wave, bringing our saw wave. Saw and sub and a little bit of uh, pitch delay here, a little bit of amp or a filter delay rather. Filter and pitch LFO. Speed that up, drop that down, speed that up, drop that down, that up, down. things are going to start to get a little bit different. Um, I'm just going to start adding in some effects and the Juno X has some spectacular effects, um, really refined uh, from what was available on the System 8 at the time. It doesn't have the same level of immediate control, but they're much deeper and much more intricate sounding effects. It really shows in the reverbs and uh, the choruses, but um, when it comes to the sound, that's definitely a personal preference. So I'm gonna start dialing stuff in and I'm going to start to depart from what makes these two synthesizers the same and show off um, what makes them different or what you might appreciate uh, sound-wise or otherwise from a sound designer's perspective or in the case of the System 8, the Juno X, a player's option. Um, the Juno X has a much better build quality. It's a much more playable keyboard. It immediately feels nicer to use and experience. But when it comes to building sounds from scratch and the nuance and detail of the original uh, hardware, the System 8 really captures that magic. And it's a lot um, nicer to dial up sounds or uh, spend time um, building something more intricate, where the Juno X has the playability and the power all on the surface. The System 8 gives you that detail and uh, creativity to dig into if you can uh, stand the green lights. For the rest of the video, I'm just going to play sounds and explore the two synthesizers and leave you to what you feel is the better of the two because either would take an excellent care of you, it's just a matter of what you want to do.